Alrighty, it is a April 2nd. It is um, 11, 17 a.m. It's pretty nice out this morning. It's supposed to get in the 70s a day. But I'm at my dad's house and I'm gonna make a garden tour. Uh, part one for his house, because I already did one for my mom's house the other day ago, so I'm doing one at my dad's house. Um, nothing much. I mean, like, there's some stuff happening, some stuff coming up at my dad's house, but I mean, like, there's gonna be a lot very, very soon. Like, as you can see, there's these Johnny Jump Ups coming up with little flowers that look like pansies, but they're not. So, those are been popping up or jumping up or whatever they say. But yeah, they're very pretty. We're supposed to get a lot of these, so many of them. I do need a weed, and I've been doing some of that, so that's why there's a mess over there. But we also have some tulips in here, that's what these are. This, they're uh, doing okay, There's, they should be blooming soon. There's some more Johnny Jump Ups right here, and another tulip. And there's these perennials too, and then another tulip right there. And then I got several other perennials in here with some tulips and Johnny Jump Ups. But they're not really doing much yet. So, these were the first tulips I saw popping up in this garden, and then there's some more Johnny Jump Ups. And, yeah, these two trees are honey locust trees. They're still trying to get buds. They should be getting them soon. And then there are some more tulips right here. And some more Johnny Jump Ups here. I'm super excited because I bet in a month or a little less than a month at the most we'll probably have like a whole bunch of Johnny Jump Ups all over the place especially over there because we did last year even though I wasn't here so yeah that's what this garden is so far and over here we have um, ton, tons of tulips that have been here since we moved in those like a bunch of them they have red flowers but they're not blooming yet and I've been waiting a little bit over here, but this is a daffodil. And then there's some other, some other flowers that, those things right there are Johnny Jump Up plants, but they don't have flowers on them yet. There's another tulip there, and also there's all those ones. And then I think there's one under here somewhere. I don't remember where. But this bush right here, there's a paper wasp down there. That's the first one I've seen this year. It's that one though, so they're starting to come out. And the first one I've seen this year, or the first, the this bush right here is starting to get leaves. Or uh, getting leaves on it. It should be coming out soon. There are buds right now, leaf buds, but they should be coming out like really, really soon. Like, you can even see them starting to come out there. So that's what's cool about this bush. And there's that tree too. See it? And then there's these bushes over here. And there's also some more daffodils right here. These looks like it's got a little bloom or a little bud right there, so it should be blooming soon. I know the ones at my mom's house have been blooming already. And these are boxwood bushes. My mom has those in her house, but or not in her house, but uh, in her front yard by the curved pathway that leads to her front door. But they're not as big as these ones. And then there are some daffodils right here too. And there's one back there. More bushes. And I think there's like, let's see, what was it? I oh, have yeah, some tulips right here coming up. I don't know how long it'll do though. But that's cool. And then on this side yard, we have a daffodil over here. That's by the this bench that used to be two aspen trees, but they were cut down before I moved in, so that's what the stumps are. This is the daffodils right here. I waited this area about a week or two ago. There's some more tulips right here. Yeah, I waited this area and then, let's see what was I gonna say. I waited it and I don't know if I showed y'all, but it was pretty, a lot of weeds in it. And then, there's a big weed right here. This is a hollyhock, that's a weed I need to pull out and that's a tulip. And this is our flagpole, our flag. And there's another tulip right there. And then over here, we have hollyhocks coming up there. And more tulips over here. Looks like they need some water. So, that one got ate by a cat, I think. I noticed our cat has been eating grass. I'm thinking that's grass, but it's not. Then over in the backyard, we also have some 
flowers also but they're not blooming i mean we're gonna have a big garden out again up back behind the fence but well, there is a dandelion over by this douglas fir tree that's blooming and i think the first one this year so that looks pretty cool and then there's oh and there's another one right there that wasn't blooming this morning it literally wasn't that's what, that's how crazy that that's how cool that is and it literally wasn't there this morning when i came out here but that was and there's some more sec are there some hens and chicks succulents in my shadow out of the way there we go the hens and chicks succulents and there's this um male pl flower and plum, plum tree so it gets flowers but it doesn't get any plums it's pretty small too it looks like it's getting buds on it and new growth so that's good and then there's strawberries down here there's several of them but there's a lot of weeds in the way so it's hard to see all of them oh yeah and then this came up also this is rhubarb we've had this for about a couple of maybe even a few years now but this just came up not too long ago so that's rhubarb that's been popping up it looks really weird right now but yeah and this is oreo she's doing good still she's old we've had her a while even in my videos i mean years ago she's been in them sometimes and that's her and let's see we got hollyhock right there and then we have let's see i don't know what else we just have mostly weeds in this area and this is our douglas fir tree and this is these plants, I don't know if they're yuccas or what they are, but are yucca, or I don't know how to pronounce them, but they get cool flowers that start popping up, kind of like these things that are like stems and they start blooming the white flowers. And then down here we have a grapevine right here, but it's not very big at all, it's what this thing is, I don't know if you can see, but it's that thing. And then we have other flowers that come up over here, I can't remember what they are, they might be uh, lilies, I think. Uh, they're not coming up yet, but they're orange. And in the trail back like behind our fence, we have some tulips somehow that come up back here, and some irises way over there. I don't know if we, we tilled this area a few weeks ago. And we're gonna plant a big garden back here, but here's some tulips right here. And we have some more right here, all throughout there. And this, oh yeah, so this is the box elder maple tree that I had, that we had at my dad's old house. It's in the same neighborhood and we transplanted it over here. And I just, I don't know why, I just love it. I don't know why, I just somehow grew automatically and I was like, I'm going to keep that. Okay, so then we have some irises coming up over here, but they're getting hard to see. That's what these are, but all this grass is popping up. I think that's wild wheat or something like that. It'll eventually turn down throughout the mid late summer mid or summer or something like that and then yep there's our backyard and yep so yeah we have like a bunch of american elm trees on the trail that have been making seeds in our yard and more trees all over the garden that we've been trying to pull out they're a pain in the butt but yeah they're still trying to get buds but yeah they're gonna have leaves soon the american elm trees are so native to here like they grow everywhere here's our cat spruce tree our cat spruce bush whatever you want to call it there's one at my mom's house also in a garden in the front yard but it's very small and then over here we had we had a tree right here that we chopped down out the branches because it was getting in the house, kind of, kind of getting in the, the, whatever this is, I forgot what it's called, all this stuff, and getting inside of it. And then here's an example of these little baby American elm trees. These are what they are, and seeds everywhere, like so many of them all over the place. And these ones are starting to get their leaves, but those ones aren't yet. Those ones got flowers first, and they're not getting leaves yet. But I think that the reason why, because like they're getting flat, I think they're getting flowers because they're adults and they're gonna get the leaves after, but because these ones aren't adults and they're just saplings, I think they're not getting their flowers, they're going straight to getting their leaves. So yeah, and then this, we chopped down all the branches, it looks like there's some water sprouts coming back, so that's not good. I mean like, I don't mind it, but it's gonna be like water sprouts aren't good and they're gonna go very, very fast. But it looks like this one's, these get flowers, so they're gonna start to bloom soon, so that's wonderful. 
And then there's some more bushes. This is not a boxwood bush. This is a boxes microphilia sensia bush. I don't know why it's called that, but it's a bush like a boxwood bush, but it's not. There's that air conditioner with Oreo on top of it, kind of on that part of it. And then our junipers, I think our cypress or something like that. And back to the front yard. And yeah, this is that area, this area again. Where, and there's some examples, they're shorter, but these are the examples of these little American elm bushes popping up, our little tree saplings, whatever. So that's about it, that's mostly our garden. Uh, inside we have potatoes down in the basement. We have potato plants that I'll show you. I just gotta get this thing off my shoe real quick. This thing was on my shoe. Let's see if I can get it out, there we go. So inside we have, down in the basement we have American elm trees. Or not American elm trees, um, it's called uh, potato plants. They're downstairs. They're doing really good. They've been really big. They don't have potatoes on them yet. But yeah, they should have potatoes soon. We started growing them around like I think February. Okay, so there's this one. I mean, they need water a lot though. It looks like it's kind of wilting a little bit because it needs some water, but I can't tell for sure. But there's, there's, you can kind of see the roots. There should be potatoes coming down there soon. Potatoes are good. So yeah, and then there's this other one over here. This one's doing good also. Really nice looking. I mean, a lot of potatoes, nice to have some. We've been burying leaves that come up once they get taller because that helps make more potatoes somehow. And so see, is there any roots? There's some right there. It's hard to see all the roots. That's what's cool about a clear container, so it's just some of the roots. You might even be able to see the potatoes growing. I don't know for sure. Anyways, that's that. That's the potato plants. And we do have other plants in our house that I never really showed. They're just like house plants. That one over there is fake, though. So don't think it's that, because that's not a house plant. Let me just shut this door real quick. I think they're upstairs. That one's not a real plant. That one's just got fake leaves. It's just for decoration. So yeah. But upstairs, I think we have a couple house plants that have just been there for years that we've had. Let me go find them. Let's see here. There's that one over there, I think. Yeah. Pretty sure that's a real one. That thing is fake, but this is real. So these are nice little house plants. Don't know what it is. And we have, uh, let's see, another one right over here by the window. This one's also real. And we had other ones, but I don't know where they're at. Or maybe they died or something. But we had one hanging from here before. Now that's mostly everything. I hope you all enjoy this video, because I mean, that's mostly everything. That's our garden tour my dad's house part one i'll be doing other ones also and hopefully our grass will be greening up soon i guess the sprinkler should be on in a week or two on april 15th so yep it has been dry this year so that's not good but that's about it so far so i hope you all enjoyed this video and i'll keep you updated